One for wigs, one for wigs, wigs, one for So I think I left out the fact that this lace is extremely good and it blends very well into my skin. I used some of my foundation on it uh, and I did that before I applied the frontal and I think it blends very well. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Wigs. Today I'm featuring another Outre wig. It's uh, Tatienne and I have her in the color, let's get this right here, I have her in the color Ginger Brown, DRF Ginger Brown. She's 26 inches and 13 by 6 lace frontal. You can see the stock card here. And I've shown this wig at the beginning of the channel when I first started. I was wearing her in a sort of blonde color. And I've worn this unit, this actual one, maybe once once before. And I really enjoyed wearing it that day. I really enjoy it because of the color. I mean, I'll show you this color here. I'll show you the back of it. And you see it lays down flat. Here's the back. It's very long. And it lays down flat right now. But I remember when I was traveling, uh, I was in the Caribbean, and my aunt said to me, Oh, there's something sticking up in your wig. This was with the blonde unit. So if I hadn't uh, had her to check on it, one of these wefts, because after the lace frontal, there are wefts. One of the wefts was just sort of, you know, out of place. And it really just threw the whole <laughs> wig off, as you can imagine. So you have to be careful with that uh, to make sure that it's smoothed down and that it's not in any way uh, messed up with the wefts. And that's, again, one of my pet peeves. <laughs> the wefts, uh, in general, I don't like wefted wigs, but some of these less expensive units, they're all wefted, and for the most part, they work. Uh, the other pet peeve, which you might have heard me talk about several times, is in those uh, wigs that have this point in the middle where the hair comes out of. But anyway, coming back to this uh, Outre Perfect Hairline Tatienne, um, you can have it parted as it shows on the box. I'll show you the box. To the side or in the middle and I've worn it both ways and I really like it both ways I didn't use the I didn't use the scalp tape today I just have a wig cap under this and as you can see I did a very small part but it can be parted much more uh, deeply if you do the proper preparation to show the scalp like effect the hair feels soft it's a little bit dry at the ends and I didn't do anything today except take it out of the box and comb it and I wanted to show you there's quite a bit of uh, hair coming out there's quite a bit of shedding but um, other than that you know I really like it I mean the color is really what sells me most on this you can see the gradations again like I said and it really is quite fabulous once you go out with the, the proper um, the proper wig cap or whatever scalp camouflage you want to use. The front of the hairline is a little bit um, blunt. Uh, if you want to pluck it and make it look more realistic, I'm sure you could do that. Or I attempted to do some baby hairs here. So that sort of camouflages it and breaks up this very harsh line of the frontal. But I also used one of those um, scissors with the edges to cut it before so that the lace didn't look so straight. You know, uh, this wig is pretty much what I was talking about when I said I would be showing you that I could do a lace frontal adhesion. So I, I just basically used hairspray today. I think I used the, the uh, got to be, got to be um, yellow can spray. And all of these methods uh, of finessing the hairline and stuff like that, which I don't really go into very often, but all of that I got from Pink Valenciaga. I mean, if you're into wigs, you probably have seen her channel, Think Pink, I think it's called. But she is such a pro, such an expert, and she's really given a lot of inspiration for developing your craft of wig wearing. And uh, if you go to her channel, you, you can learn a lot from her. And the other person who does the scalp hairline really well, and I mentioned her before on the channel as well, I don't think she has such a, a big YouTube presence, but on Instagram, it's underscore dot B-L-E-U or something to that effect. And uh, she's become quite famous as well. I think she was born in uh, Philadelphia in Pennsylvania, and now she's moved to Georgia. So if you're in Georgia, uh, near the Atlanta area, 
I think she's doing installs and they're not even really that expensive and she's just a real synthetic hair queen that's all I can say a real synthetic hair artist um, just the other day I was looking at her channel and what she's able to do with colors and how she's able to manipulate the textures of wigs uh, of synthetic wigs with heat I mean it's just absolutely mind-blowing um, I would recommend her if you're really into synthetic units but again she does this sort of ultra plucked hairline which I think works for some hair like I've said in the past but not for all so I don't know sometimes I just think it's uh, too much but it depends on what your style is and what your aesthetic is so that's it for today um, Tatiana I would definitely recommend her I think the price isn't too expensive I, I got two of her so it must not have been that expensive and again here's the back of it really beautiful color this one the blonde is a beautiful color as well too and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day wearing your wonderful wigs. Thanks for joining the channel. Please like, subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the bell notification so that you'll know when next I upload an another wonderful wig. Thanks again for being here. Have a great day. Wonderful wigs! Wonderful wigs! Wigs wonderful! Wonderful!